Alright, so what we need to do next is one, set up our um, blend shapes. names, replace the LT, RT with LT, there we go, and I'm not, Search and replace names. I didn't need to duplicate it again. This is LT replace with RT because I just did that. And you can rearrange these afterwards. I'm just getting these set up. And then that's the brow up, brow down. And then we're going to also add in our cheeks. So that's for our eyelids, brows, and cheeks. 
let's go ahead and add in some phonemes and I'm just going to do them as a whole this time I'm not going to do left and right side huh all the ones on the bottom when it says eyelid is a eyelid so need to give you a list uh, so we have Just combine this to O U sound. This would be A E I. Z, but these will be the rest of the consonants that we haven't done already. If I hit the wrong key one more time. Now, with these, do not select the eyes. The eyes are just there so that we can use that to um, create our blend shapes against. But I'm not doing a marquee selection because I have the eyes in here and it will mess up the blend shape. So I'm going to go from here to here, select this. And we're going to go to rigging. And we want to go to the form blend shape. These will be our emotes. We're going to go from here to here. And this will be my bridge. Now, my bridge, if we turn this on, let's see what happens. broken. Why is that? Nope. Nope. Well, no, do not freeze any transformations. No. In the world of wrong, that is the, not the worst answer, but it's pretty bad. Don't freeze your transformations. No. Nope. So, it's called order of operations. So, what I need to do is have my bind be on top of, I need for that to get calculated before the blend shape. Or I need to be in the right order for them to calculate correctly. So I'm going to right click on here. And we want to go to inputs, all inputs. Nope. What you're going to do is select the blend shape node, middle mouse button, and drag it underneath the skin cluster. And then you can see that it works. Now, I'm not going to go through on how to set up all these blend shapes, but for the phonemes, you're going to need to look for a reference. There are plenty of phoneme sheets that you can buy or use your book, and that will give you the references for the phoneme. So, you have your vowels broken down A, E, I, O, U. So, A and E and I 
are the same. I, I, I lumped O and U together, but they're similar but not quite the same. Then you have TH with the T in between it. You have MPB because the mouth closed. You have F and B where the mouth stays the same. And then you have the rest of your consonants, which the mouth position is the same for those. And that would be the rest of the letters in the alphabet that we did not cover. Does everybody understand that? And then you can look, you can use a mirror and look for yours, or you can find a reference to see this is what the phoneme is supposed to look like. Does everybody understand that? Now, now that we have that, I want to clean this up just a little bit. Get these looking a little bit nicer. Okay, those are all that. So let's get these. Itself one more time. Something slightly different. Modify center pivot. Take this one. Get it in there. There we go. Go ahead and put these. shapes. Don't know who that is. Let's create another group for our geo. Create another group um, for our controls. I'm not doing all the groups today and hopefully I can spell some things correctly. And we're going to group this again. Let's create a world group. shapes we'll put that in scale all of this will go into GL and there we are now at this point your clothes are supposed to be bound um, the teeth are not bound um, and the gums are not bound but all the clothes are supposed to be bound to your character does everybody understand that that's what I'm looking for and that's what you're getting graded on today but I'm lecturing before we critique because I want to get the lecture out of the way now once again um, some of the ones that I have not gone over as for blend shapes the eyes you guys should be used to that by now I shouldn't have to do that but let's go ahead and do just a couple of them Go do some easy ones that we haven't done before. Those are two eyelids. All right, brow. Let's brow up, brow down. You should be used to that. So if we're here, this is the left side, and you can use your sculpting tools.
this pokes out a little bit too much. supposed to be brow down. <sighs> Oops. Let's bring this down there. And then what I want to do is I'm not doing that. I want to go ahead and do the cheeks. So we have just a little bit more to do with this character. Or maybe it should be more like this. Let's erase this. Let's just do a straight grab. And this is cheek down. So it doesn't look like the you know the character has the mumps. And then maybe we'll just bring this up just a little bit. There we go. a little bit. Feels a little high to me and it looks like she has the mumps again. Alright. And then the other ones you can figure out. Let's go ahead and let's jump a little bit. And I think I want to jump to getting the controls in here. And I have them copied, so I'm just going to pull from another file.
I'm going to take these, group them, modify, center pivot. I'm going to take this group, group it again, modify, center pivot. I'm going to take this and snap it to my top of hair joint. I'm going to do this and move it down. Modify freeze transformations. And then what I'm going to do is take this first group. I'm going to scale it up some. Not much. Let's move it up. Modify freeze transformations. And then I am going to name this icon. Right eye, left eye. We have that. This first group will be my eye group. Second group that will be my constraint and position. And I'm going to take this and snap that insert point for that group that is in to the top of the head. So, so if we go here, you can see we have our icons, our group where it's going to be positioned, the group that it resides in, and then these here. These two, I'm going to group them individually, select the groups, modify, center the pivots, and we're going to name them, RT, Icon, Group, just going to copy that, we're going to select this one, and it's going to be a LT, Icon, Group, and we're going to parent, these are going to get parent constraint to this control right here. So we're going to select the control, the group, constraint, parent. Same thing with this one, the control, the, the group, and a parent constraint. And I guess we can go ahead and get our eyes set up. I'm going to select my two eyes. I'm going to group them to themselves. I, Geo, group, modify, center pivot. I probably should do them individually instead of doing them together. So at least it makes a little bit more sense why we have this. This joint right here, one of the reasons why we have it is if we we're ever going to do a joint based soft eye setup we need it I like having it here just for position uh, it works really well because I can snap the eye to it or use it to keep the eye in the relative position but the reality is even if I took this group and had it parented to the skull base it would still stay the same but let's go ahead and just for the sake of argument do that group the two eyes together modify center pivot probably should name said eyes and this will be my RT I oh, we can't rename it because it's in uh, its reference sorry but we'll do this so this will be my RTI group this will be my LTI group and then what we're going to do is we're going to just select the joint, select the group, and we're going to do a parent constraint. We do it again, we select the joint, this time the left one, select the group, and we do a parent constraint. And then we'll just let that stay where it's at. Now, I guess since we're here, we can go ahead and take care of the teeth. So let's show all of these. I'm going to 
hide the body for right now. And we have our gums and our teeth. I'm going to select this, group it to a cell. I'm going to select the lower ones. Group that to itself. Teeth group. And then I am going to I'm going to center the pivots on each group. So modify, center pivot. There we go. And for this lower one, I'm going to select my jaw term, the lower teeth group, and we're just going to do another parent constraint. Then I'm going to select my roof of mouth, the upper teeth group, and do a parent constraint. So it will move with it. we're going to take care of later because the eyelids have to move with the eyes blinking so we're going to have to do something a little bit different for that now and what I wanted to do was take care of like a very the easiest setup which will be the eyes now I'm going to select this control my right eye not the joint but the eye and we're going to go to constrain and we're going to do a aim constraint maintain the offset there we go and we're going to also do it for the other eye as well. Now, the eye setup is not complete because I want to do a dynamic parent. But I'm going to save that for when we get the rest of the controls in. But at least we have the eyes moving with it. Now, this isn't going to move with anything just yet. Well, we could. I can go ahead and have this move with this. So, let's select our um, top of head joint. And then we're going to select our um, let's select our icon constraint group and we're going to do a parent constraint and there we go so at this point it will move with it and we can start setting up some other stuff as well And it looks like I got a little bit of an issue with some of my geometry. It looks like a part of a tooth. So it's not the upper one. It looks like it is... It's an upper part of the tooth and a lower part of the tooth. And I'm sorry I didn't see that when I separated it. That's my fault. So we're just going to create a layer. We're just going to hide it. We're going to use the cheapest common denominator. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to hide this. Hide those right now. And then we're just going to take this and this. And I'm not too worried about rebuilding it. I should rebuild it, but they're not going to be bound into the teeth, the part that the geometry is kind of screwed up. They're never going to see. You're never going to see it, so I'm not worried about it. All right. Display. Show all. We have our teeth partially squared away. Your clothes should be painted. Um, what I'm going to start doing is positioning some of my controls. Snap it to my palm. Let's 
Let's rotate it 90. Let's rotate it another 90, negative 90 degrees. Let's get it in the center. Right there. I do not like having my cons like this this big. I find it to be cumbersome and just aesthetically unpleasing. That's the thing. So I'm going to reduce them. COG and I have a place me I'm going to create a locator there we go and I am going to constrain my place me to that locator turn off maintain offset there we go edit delete by type history Let's delete the constraint, modify freeze transformations. I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to scale this down. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and name this. Move me. Just camel case next. That's what I've been doing. me car and we need to add our RT here. All right, let's get a foot in here and I'm gonna scale this one down. I'm gonna use this one this time. Scale it out a little bit. Display show all. Move it to where the foot is. zero along the x-plane and that looks about right I might slide this back just a little bit and I'm going to name this our RT foot handle Also going to use this. Bring this up here, duplicate it. Let's do negative ninety. Scale it down. About right here. This will be my. RT and it's where the shoulder blade is but I'm really going to use it for my clavicle
RT uh, Shinka Control D. That about right there. Should be able to just snap it in there. There we go. This is my RT. This is my RT Daikon. Cool. I'm going to duplicate that. Bring this back over to where my hip is. And I'm going to shape it a little bit. I'm going to move it forward. I always like shaping this a little bit different so that it has a stronger silhouette value, makes it easier to see. RT hip con. I'm not sure I have any history, but modify freeze transformations. Okay. this again. Part of me would like to do a ribbon spine, but I'm going to hold off on that. But we probably would do a slightly more, well, we'll, well we, we might do both. We'll see. Alright. And I'm going to move this forward. Just some. And this is my RT. This is my lower. Torso, con. Yes. Um, for the right hip con, we place in the middle. So where are we gonna place for the left hip con? Well, the hip is gonna control both hips together. So it's not gonna like you. We're not gonna have one for the right and left. So it's just you control the hip control like we've been doing. So that we're not going to have the right one, but we will have uh, left FK controls for the leg. Right. Uh, you actually well, no, this isn't hip. This I did. I did. I'm sorry. You're right. Hip kind. There we go. Thank you. No and then we're going to move this up to about right here. Gotta move it forward. And this is my upper torso con. Modify, freeze transformations, and there we go. Also, with this, we need to do one other thing. I'm gonna finish up the leg and let you guys go on break. As for the FK controls. Let's move this back. So. All right. I'm going to snap this to my ankle. RT. Last but not least, freeze those transformations, 
and those are frozen and saved. Yes, um, but we're not going to really control the clothes. They're just going to be painted. So, yeah, you can go ahead and make them a little bit bigger so you can get to the clothes, but don't, don't go crazy. All right, take a break.